Potato is both a staple food and a cash crop in many rural and urban families in Kenya. It plays an important role in national food and nutrition security, poverty alleviation, income generation, and provides employment. It's the second most important food crop after maize. There are approximately 800,000 smallholder growers in the country, with an estimated 158,000 hectares under the crop, mainly in the high-altitude areas located between 1,500 and 3,000 meters above sea level. On average, yields are less than 10 tons per hectare, against a potential of 35 to 50 tons per hectare. The adoption of quality seed and new varieties and seed storage technologies can significantly boost on-farm productivity of potato in Kenya. Currently, only 1% of the estimated demand of 60,000 tons per year is certified. About 96% of the seed used by farmers is sourced from on-farm saved seed from the harvest of the previous crop, neighboring farms or from the local markets. Often, this kind of tubers is of low quality, with high seed-borne disease levels. Like the bacteria wilt and viral diseases that adversely reduce yield, or in some cases, total crop failure. Against this backdrop, International Potato Center, CIP, hosted a multi-stakeholder meeting in Nairobi in April 2008. The partners drawn from both public and private sector resolves to work together to solve the seed problem using the 3G seed strategy. Dr. Ian Barker, head of virology and seed system at the International Potato Center, shares this with us. So SIP, um, in combination with local partners here in Kenya, came up with a strategy that we call 3G. And the 3G stands for three generations. And so the traditional way of producing clean potato seed here is to grow the seed for seven generations. And the problem with that is every generation it picks up more and more diseases, which is what's pulling down the yield that farmers see. So the idea that we came up with, um, funded by USAID, working with local partners here, is to produce seed in just three generations, which means we can get the seed out to farmers much more quickly and at a more affordable price. The 3G seed strategy envisaged producing large numbers of mini tubers through one generation of a very rapid multiplication technology called aeroponics. This allows bulking of sufficient seed in only two field generations rather than the conventional four to six generations. Aeroponics is a method of growing plants in the air or mist environment without the use of soil. So the project really um, involves working with local partners here to improve the capacity of seed production in, in, in these three generations, starting with very high quality seed and then proceeding to multiply that seed further through local distributed seed multipliers in the many districts that grow potato here in Kenya. This is a typical aeroponic unit. Here, the plants are suspended in a closed or semi-closed environment and are fed by spraying the plant's dangling roots and lower stem with nutrient-rich water solution. This technology offers the potential to improve production and effectively exploits the vertical space of the greenhouse and air humidity balance to optimize the development of disease-free roots and tubers. So we supply new varieties of potatoes to the region. We have to check with local partners that they're adapted to grow in this region and we supply them as little sort of baby plants that we call in vitro plants and we grow those up in this new technology to produce these, uh, these small starter seed which we call mini tubers. When these in vitro materials arrive in the country in these test tubes, they are received by the country's Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Service otherwise known as KEFIS. This is the organization with a mandate to protect Kenya's agriculture from pests and diseases that could impact the environment, economy and human health. Many times you have to do virus screening. That means passing through some uh, procedure for virus screening. It might be passing it through a controlled temperature, which we call thermotherapy. And sometimes you might use some uh, chemicals, uh, which you also call chemotherapy, if you're using chemicals. And then at the end of the process, you have a plant which is free from viruses. 
The Kenya Agricultural Research Institute, CARI, is the country's premier research institute. So CARI collaborates with the CAFIS at the International Potato Center to ensure that the, the new breeds are developed. And once they're developed, we multiply them very rapidly to ensure that the, the farmers get those materials of the new varieties. Genetic Technologies International, GTIL, is a privately owned company specializing in multiplication of the in vitro materials through the tissue culture technology. Tissue culture basically is a practice of propagating plants under sterile conditions to produce exact copies of mother plants. This is a growth room where the plants are multiplied, then they are fed on a media enriched with the required nutrients. The first stage we call initiation has a special plant food, has a special media, just to make the plant start developing. The plants are then transplanted to a crate like this that has sand. Sand is a good medium because it allows for more aeration and can easily be sterilized. Once these fragile plants have hardened and formed roots, they are transplanted into the aeroponic boxes. The mini tubers harvested from these units are planted under field condition in the large farms such as Kisima Farm or Agricultural Development Corporation, ADC, in Molo. This is the Kisima farm located in Timau division of Buuri district on the slopes of Mount Kenya. This farm was predominantly a wheat farm, but with an agreement with CIP under the 3G project, they accepted to produce large amounts of seed for farmers. And uh, this is the biggest acreage or hectare that Kisima has produced to date. And um, we're very excited about the, the possibilities of even extending uh, beyond 20 hectares per season. This field uh, was growing wheat last season and uh, with the land base that Kasima has it's unlikely that they would ever come back to grow potatoes in this field for at least 10 years and that's a huge advantage uh, in ensuring that um, potato seed is clean and doesn't carry any viruses or disease. The farm has constructed and installed the aeroponic facility. The unit has been functional since 2009 and over 100,000 mini tubers of various improved varieties such as Tigoni, Asante, Sherekea and Kenya Mpia have been realized. So far, the farm has produced over 200 tons of certified seed that has been sold to trained seed multipliers and where farmers in all the potato producing districts. We're really excited that we got involved in this project. It's a really exciting thing to be doing. The speed that it grows, the height, the volume um, and the speed that we can multiply the seed. The Agricultural Development Corporation, ADC, is a parastatal with a key role of multiplying the pre-basic and basic to produce certified seed. The ADC Molo Seed Potato Complex composes of a cold storage facility that has a tonnage of up to 2,000 tons. We have two farms. We have ADC Asante Farm and ADC Siruka Farm, equating to about 850 acres of land. This is the ADC Molo Aeroponics Facility. Currently we are producing Tigoni, we have Asante and Kenyampia. This material we got from the PQS Mubuka. The materials were brought to us by the CIP under the 3G project. The Ministry of Agriculture, represented by the Horticulture Division and the respective district agricultural offices in the 21 potato producing districts, have played a key role in implementing the extension based interventions, including training of seed multipliers, training of smallholder ware farmers, following the positive selection methodology, promoting seed storage technologies, that is the diffused light stores, DLS, creating awareness on the importance of using quality seed, as well as facilitating farmers' access to seed. The ministry has trained over 6,000 farmers. One of the ways was to train, uh, to train the farmers on, on the technological requirements for uh, maximizing on, on what they are producing within their, their farms. And um, 
One of them is uh, to improve on the availability of the seed, as well as for them also to ensure that they use certified seed. Eldoret East District is one of the potato producing districts in the North Rift region. The farmers here have been trained on positive selection. This practice has greatly improved the quality of farm saved seed. Kiambu East District is one of the main suppliers of fresh vegetables to the city of Nairobi. These farmers have experienced a complete turnaround in food security. In the uh, late 90s, we were not planting potatoes as much because of the diseases. And um, until the time when the, the government and the, the people from the potato research came and they helped us, especially in my group. Now we have started to have uh, uh, three uh, seeds and it has helped us so much. Begu za hapa hazitoi kitu. Lakini hii mpya kabisa inatoa viazi mzuri. Transmara West District is located in the southwest of the Rift Valley province. The main inhabitants of this district are the Maasai's who are predominantly a pastoralist community and often move with their animals from one place to another in search of pasture. The good news is that in the year 2009 the USAID 3G funded project implemented by Potato International Center SIP in collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture and others uh, managed to take two farmers from Transmara to train them on seed production. There is joy and jubilation today in this village. The villagers have converged here at Christine Nashuru's home to hear more of this wonderful tuber crop. She is one of the 57 farmers trained on seed production. Taita is the only district endowed with favorable climate for potato production in the larger coast province of Kenya. In spite of the comparative advantage that potato farmers enjoy in terms of fairly high and constant price, there was hardly any potato crop in the district when the project began. The district crop officer attributed the loss of the crop to high disease incidents especially late blight and bacterial wilt coupled with lack of quality seed and the farmers had lost hope on potatoes. But now we have available seed locally. We have the seed multipliers who have been growing the seed very effectively and they have been able to supply other farmers even f f within and from outside this division. The Ministry of Agriculture have availed farmers with certified seed and training to ensure they understand the importance of quality seed. The project has since trained two secondary seed multipliers and 12 farmer groups with a membership of 241 practicing farmers of which 67% are women. Sisi tulikuwa hatu 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 limi shamba kwa uzuri lakini tulipopata mafundisho tukaonyeshwa jinsi ya kupanda ya kulima shamba kutarisha shamba na jinsi ya kulima ile mitaro sisi tulikuwa tunalima ene hauli yani tunaweza tukapandikiza viazi kwenda kutoka juu kwenda chini lakini tukaambiwa hiyo si vizuri tupandikize across alafu jinsi ya kupandikiza pia tulikuwa tunapandikiza eh hatukuwa na vipimo sasa mavuno yetu yakawa ni duni lakini tulipopata mafunzo ndio tukaanza kutumia zile vipimo na tukaona tunaendelea vizuri on this small plot Amon Mgendi, one of the trained seed multipliers in Taita district, has been producing seed and making it available to wear farmers in the district. Mbeleni, tuliko tunavuna viazi. Bada ya kuvivuna, tunavyeka nyandani ya nyumba. Lakini, kitu ambacho nilifurahi nilena ngafundisho store, njia kuweka viazi, ya kujenga store na kuvyeka. Seeds stored in DLS have better emergence, more uniform growth, and better plant establishment, resulting in higher tuber yield.
production of quality seed at all levels has benchmarks. Under the formal system, the Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Services, KEFIS, has to certify that indeed the seed produced is of high quality and is disease free. Our quality assurance is two, two way. First of all, we do it here in the station and then we also do a follow up of the material in the field. And when it is seed, then we will have a seed inspector go and check the crop during active growth and ensure it has uniformity, it has freedom from diseases, and it has the right characteristics. So we are doing the, the whole range from, from the introduction to the field production. Due to the fact that most potato planting farmers are small-scale farmers, the affordability of 50 kg bags standardized by the government has been a pipe dream. The International Potato Center, CIP, in collaboration with Farm Inputs Promotions Africa under the 3G project, has been distributing the potato seed in 5 kilograms and 10 kilogram bags. Last year, at least we were able to distribute around 5 tons and the farmers were very happy. And thus we have come this season for more and we are... Uh, we, 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 we will be able to distribute around 50 tons to the farmers. Dina Borus, the potato chain leader at International Potato Center, CIP, has been coordinating the implementation of project activities in partnership with both the public and private partners. She gave a summary of the project achievements from inception in October 2008 to November 2010. One of the key out outcome is the increased national capacity to produce pre-basic seed, that is the mini tubers, both by the public and the private sector. The project has supported construction of seven aeroponic units and an improved conventional system. Uh, put together, the seven aeroponic units have a capacity of about 10,000 plantlets, while the conventional system has a capacity of 14,000. That gives a total of 24,000 plantlets in one production circle. From these units, over 900,000 millitubers have been produced, comprising of both the market-demanded varieties and the newly released varieties. At the aeroponic units, a high number of minitubers were realized, that is up to 62 minitubers per plant, while in the improved conventional system, an average of 11 minitubers per plant were achieved. The project, which is also implemented in Rwanda and Uganda, as uh, tax credit for bringing together a wide range of the partners or the actors along the seed potato chain. For thousands of farmers, the 3G project has had great positive impacts in their lives and the production has really increased.